originally this video was going to be about the Slender Man and his impact made on the horror genre over the years, but then something caught my eye. In my recommended feed, I spotted a video with a thumbnail that instantly caught my attention. And as you can tell by this video, I ditched that skinny bastard and jumped straight into the rabbit hole that is the liminal spaces. But that begs the question, what does this even mean? Well, my friends, this is going to be a long one, so sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Of relating to or situated at a sensory threshold, barely perceptible or capable of eliciting a response. Of relating to or being an intermediate state, phase, or condition. From all the information I've accumulated for these definitions and various others combined with the images you see now, the best overall way I could describe the word liminal space and what it means as a whole is as follows. A location that secretes an uncertain feeling, whether that be fear, joy, or confusion straight into your mind. A million thoughts will race across your brain as you stare deeply into these pictures of seemingly random ass locations. Now of course once you spend the countless hours like I have binging all these videos, you start to notice some trends in familiar locations. You get the occasional Target, shopping mall, a school, etc. So if a good chunk is familiar like a local superstore, then why the strange unease? Why does it feel like I've glitched through the matrix and no clip straight into the back rooms of hell? Let's dive deeper. Context is everything. The circumstances that form the setting for an event, statement, or idea, and in terms of which can be fully understood and assessed. Google. I'm 100% positive you know what the word context means. It's just reading these definitions makes you feel really smart. Context is the key component to making these images work the way they do. Or maybe it's just the way the title is phrased. Let me explain. You see, there's a theme when it comes to these liminal space video titles. Uncomfortably familiar childhood places, but it's sad and nostalgic. Liminal space. Right off the bat, we have a couple adjectives in there already setting the tone for the video before you even watch it. Especially these three right here. Uncomfortably, sad, and nostalgic. These three words and all their similes are the key phrases I see the most when it comes to these liminal space compilations. Now obviously putting sad music over a picture is going to invoke more of a depressing reaction. If I change the music playing over this image to something more cheerful and triumphant, then a completely different story is going to play through your head. What I'm saying here is that these added words and sounds add heavily to heighten the feeling you are already going to have with these pictures. They invoke something we as all humans have, nostalgic memories, whether on the more cheerful side or macaw. Now I gathered some of the most diverse looking liminal space images I could find and compiled them into a video, the one you see on our channel right now. The purpose of this was so I could have some of the selfies as well as you guys watch the video and answer the following questions. What's the first thing you think when you see this image? If it makes or doesn't make you uncomfortable, can you explain how and why? Here are some of the responses I got. What's the first thing you think of when you see all these images? I don't know, it kind of made me feel like alone, if that makes sense. It, it made me feel like I had a chill through my body, I don't know if that was like leading up to like anxiety or whatever it was, but it just made me feel like uneasy, if that makes sense. Like kind of creeped out, you know? Okay, can you explain why? Like, why do you think it made you feel like that? I don't know, maybe it was like the lack of, I don't know, the lack of like presence, if that makes sense. Like there was nobody really there to like make me feel less uneasy like i like there was a picture of a mall in there i don't know how i would like feel being in a mall all by myself and i don't know where i hear something <laughs> you know what i mean like that would just be terrifying i don't know and not gonna lie when i first posted the video i was a little disappointed with some of the responses because uh, <laughs> let's just say uh they, they were a little interesting smashing on some barbecue chicken mac and cheese sweet potatoes and cornbread what y'all do but as the next couple days passed by we got some really really good responses so i'm just gonna go ahead and share basically every single one of them enjoy really uncomfortable and your soundtrack does not help i feel lost in time like where is everyone gone? I feel very, very, very unsettled. I'm a real estate photographer, and as the name implies, spend most of my time in empty houses. 
I was shooting a video for an empty office floor one day, and I got the same feeling then as I do from this video. Feel nothing. Oh, the back rooms. Nice. Just remember people, watch your steps so you don't no-clip out of reality. I would feel comfortable if there wasn't an eerie soundtrack playing. It's so strange, the place at 7 seconds is literally from a dream I had. It's like you had taken a snapshot from my dream. I had a dream about that place way before liminal spaces was a big thing. It's the backrooms in picture form aligned with horror ambiance. How should I feel? I feel like making a backrooms map in Minecraft full of shit. Gen Zers are dead ass scared of empty hallways now. <laughs> alone, alone. 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 For some pictures like the empty malls and abandoned houses slash stores, I thought of a pandemic world like the COVID outbreak. Empty and almost dead. But the empty offices and hallways, I don't know what to say. They're eerie and quiet. Playgrounds, malls, hotels, amusement parks, offices, swimming pools. These are all locations you would usually experience as a child. Whether on vacations, field trips, trips to your parents' jobs. That's what I was hit with the first time I gazed into these pictures. The quality seems awful for about 90% of them, but I don't think it's a detriment to the feeling these liminal space pics are trying to get across to you. They remind me of old shitty photos my family would have taken at a family reunion or something like that. That innocent childlike wonder of experiencing the world and finally realizing how big it is compared to you. To a kid, an empty hotel may seem like an endless maze of hallways and doors. An empty office gives off the instant impression of abandonment and desertion. A house in the middle of a windows looking background is seemingly in pure isolation, an unknown amount of miles away from other people. Autophobia or monophobia makes you feel extremely anxious when you're alone. This fear of being alone can affect your relationships, social life, and career. You may also have a fear of abandonment that stems from a traumatic childhood experience. And what better way to make you feel this isolation than a picture of an empty mall? A place known for its hundreds of stores, restaurants, and of course, people. You take the people out of the mall, what is its purpose anymore? What is the purpose of a playground completely devoid of children? What makes these pictures truly offsetting is the fact that they are all places where people should be, usually in abundance too. Once you remove the crowds, all you're left with is a vessel completely devoid of reason, of purpose. This parking lot serves no one anymore. The road is unkempt, not a single car in sight. It has no reason. As far as we know, the only living things in these images are Flora and the figure behind the camera, both together in isolation. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was my dark dive on liminal spaces and the backroom kind of thing. I was gonna have backroom be a segment in this episode, but I decided that's just a whole other topic by itself. So if you want to see a Backrooms Dark Dive, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see a Slenderman Dark Dive too. I know I was kind of giving him a little bit of shit in the beginning, but I was actually really excited for a Slenderman one, but I just stumbled upon these Liminal Space videos, literally in my YouTube recommendation feed, like I said in the video. And it just sent me down this big ass rabbit hole, autophobia, the empty parking lot pictures and stuff. And it's just, it's kind of crazy how something as simple as an empty playground can stem so deeply into our mind with a bunch of interesting like childhood trauma or the fear of being alone and just isolation. It's just, it's really interesting to me. So I hope you guys found it really interesting too. And thank you for everyone who commented, even the funny comments too, I had a good laugh at. So I really appreciate that. If you have any other suggestions for dark dyes, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, everyone, have a good one.